I'm Aubrey Judd and I'm a freshman at Lakeside High School. I moved to Hot Springs in the summer of 2017 and before that I lived in Massachusetts for two years. I moved to Massachusetts when I was nine years old after my dad got promoted for his job and we had to leave my, my original home state, Oklahoma, for the very first time ever. I dealt with a lot of bullying when I lived in Massachusetts because I was the new kid from the South who had different lifestyles from everyone out there and I was alone. I didn't have a lot of friends. It was really hard for me to get to know people because I was shy at first. And when I actually started to make friends, this one girl thought that I was stealing her friend from her. The bullying from this girl and other people got so bad that I would make my stomach hurt without knowing it. And this pain went on for about a month before my mom took me to a few doctors to finally get tested and see what was really wrong. We ended up going to multiple doctors throughout Fairhaven and we tried multiple things. Like I took Tylenol, I took medications, but there was no explanation for what was going on. And there were still no answers from the doctors. We even tried cutting out dairy, thinking I was lactose intolerant. The doctors even thought I, was, I had celiac for a while, but nothing worked and everything turned out to be false. One day we went to a certain doctor and he said that I didn't have an illness, I never had a bug, I never had celiac or any other disease, but I would be so anxious about seeing this bully again and going to school that I would make my stomach hurt and all this pain was coming from anxiety. After we moved back to the south, after our two year span in Massachusetts, my mom was the one who told me that she noticed a complete difference in even just a week of living in Arkansas versus Massachusetts. She noticed my interaction with others changed because in Massachusetts, I just wanted to sit around, do nothing. I just, I didn't want to go outside, but in a short period of time, I was wanting to go. I, I wanted to make friends. I wanted to go to school. I was just a completely different person from Massachusetts to Oklahoma to Arkansas. My parents always said that I was one of the happiest, just bubbliest kids ever. And their thought process when we moved was, Aubrey can get along with anyone. She's so easy. It'll, there'll be no problems, but when we did move up there, they noticed a difference in my attitude. They, they just noticed something was different about me and they really thought I was depressed and, and I became anxious in Massachusetts. These days, no one shows their true feelings anymore. We always put a mask on for everyone else to see. We show what we want people to see. We don't, or what they expect to see. We don't ever show how we really feel anymore because we're, we're afraid we'll get judged or we'll get made fun of, but we put so many different faces on that no one really ever sees that someone may be going through something when they are. I mean, some people can act like they're happy all the time, but really they may be going through some serious issues that we may not even see. If you or anyone you know is going through depression or any mental health issue, talk to a doctor or a trusted adult to get help. Mentalhealth.gov is a website that can help you find further resources.